What's up guys, today we'll be learning how to fly this Aviot S2S in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. It is an extremely aerobatic aircraft, so we're gonna have an extremely fun episode today for you guys. Anyway, let's get right into it. All right, we're inside the cockpit now. We're gonna take our cursor, go to the top of our screen, opening up our taskbar. We are going to press starting procedure tab. This opens up the starting procedure tab. First, we have to test and set our brakes. If we go down to our rudder section here to know if our brakes are working, the tip of our rudder should move. It's kind of hard to see. It's pretty dark in here. Let's go over to the right hand side of the rudder. If we press our brake button, the tip does move, meaning that our brakes are working. So we can take that item off of our checklist here. Fuel selector on. Our fuel selector is right here. It is under our control panel. All right, so right now our fuel selector is off, so we have to turn it two times to the right to turn it on. So first, we have to press it once, it's still off because it switched the off section, and one more time, and now it's in the main fuel sector, meaning that we are all good. We can take that item off our checklist. Next, we have to do is choose if we are doing a cold engine start or a hot engine start. I am flying in Hawaii, but I do think it is kind of cold out today in Hawaii, so I'm going to open the cold engine start. Mixture needs to be rich. This is our mixture control. It's right under our throttle here, right here. It is already rich because it's at 100%. Rich means it's at 100%, so that is good. Take that item off our list. Propeller needs to be high RPM. It's behind our throttle, and it's kind of hard to see, but it says prop push high RPM. So we're gonna take our propeller RPM control and we're gonna push it all the way in to get a high RPM. Take that item off our list. Throttle one quarter open. So we're gonna to go to 25% throttle here before 25% throttle. Take that item off our list. Next, master switch on. If we go to the very bottom left corner of our gauges here, we should see this switch. Turn battery master on. I will highlight this. There you go, it's right there. Two from the leftmost switch. Turn the battery master on. Reset our camera, take that item off our list. Fuel boost pump on two to three seconds max. So this is our fuel switch pump on. So we're going to turn, I'll highlight it for you guys. There you go. We're gonna turn this on for two to three seconds. So one, two, three, turn it off, reset. Mixture should be idle slash cutoff. Bro, there's no way. One thing that there's a bug in this, it says after we start, we should put our mixture to rich. That's actually a problem. Before we even start the engine, we should put our mixture control to rich. So 100%, so push that mixture in. Next, go back to our starter. We're going to click it until it goes to start. And now, since our mixture is rich, it starts perfectly fine. That's a problem I was having for a while. So you need your mixture to be rich and able to start this aircraft. Oil pressure check. Our oil pressure is on the right hand side in this gauge right here. It says pressure and temp. This is your oil gauge. Our oil pressure is in the green, so we are good. We can take that item off our list. Alternator field switch should be on. If we go back to our left-hand side here, this turn alternator master on. We're going to turn this right on here. This turns on our alternator. We just started our engine for the Aviat S2S, so that's great. We got to flip the page by clicking this little tab at the top of our checklist. Uh, Avionic master switch on, if you look here. Yeah, we already turned that on, or we didn't actually. It's right here to the right. Turn this on right here. So it's the fourth switch on the bottom left of our gauges. Turn that on. That turns on our avionics master switch. So everything should be on now, which is great. Good job, everyone. Take that off our list. Uh, we can now close our checklist here and start flying. So we're going to go back to our taskbar up here. Go to ATC, open that up, bring it over to the right hand side. We are going to tune ground. We are going to scroll down here. It should say 
request taxi depart straight out. We're gonna click that. Maui ground pits Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra with kilo request taxi for takeoff departing straight out. Pits Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra taxi. We got clearance to hold short of runway. All right, we're going to acknowledge our taxi clearance. And we are good. We're going to minimize our ATC here. Let's go to our outside view. We should see a line. There you go. So we are going to do a nice simple turn around here. And we're going to taxi into position. So I'll see you guys back in just a second. All right, we are nearing the beginning of the runway here. We're gonna open our ATC panel back up and we're gonna tune Maui Tower or whatever airport's tower you are. Make sure we stop behind this yellow line right here with the numbers. We are clear for takeoff. We're on the runway now. We're going to go into our cockpit view and let's launch this full throttle here. Needs rudder. Just a tiny bit here. Kind of a hard airplane to control actually really hard airplane to control all right uh we should be able to lift up now that was really close um yeah we are flying this is actually in a really interesting aircraft really fun aircraft so we're going to be flying to our next airport destination here all right so let's let's pull up our vfr map because there is no navigation in this airplane here bring it over to our right hand side here and let's just follow this line to our airport so let's turn the nice to the left and let's go to our airport here should be a pretty quick and easy flight but i will be back in just a second all right we're on our descent phase towards our airport here and before we land i want to do a couple things in this aircraft so in the beginning of this video i said this was an extremely aerobatic airplane so let's do some moves, shall we? Um, first, we're going to use our pitch and do a, a roll. So we're going to use our pitch all the way and use it a little bit to level it out too. Next thing we're going to do is going to do a right roll. So we're going to pitch our airplane to the right. There we go. We'll do that right roll here. Let's go inside the cabin and do it. Here we go. One more time. There we go. We did a right roll. Uh, left roll actually next we're going to do a loop-de-loop -loop. i think it's going to be kind of fun to do so pull back on your stick slightly here not too much or else we will be losing dramatic amount of airspeed here tumbling to the ground here this is a really cool airplane to do fun stuff in watch out for your aoa warning which is the stress warning on your aircraft Let's do it one more time, but the outside view. So just a little bit of upward force. We are going to stall the engine, but it should be okay. There we go. Keep it pinned. And there we go. We just did a loop-de-loop -loop in this aircraft. Um, this aircraft is really fun to just do like rolls like that and such. Nice tight turns. It's a really fun aircraft to fly. I should probably fly this aircraft more just in my free time. Before we end this video off, I want to show you guys one more acrobatic maneuver here, and that is inverted flying. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to do a half roll, and to keep ourselves from plummeting to the ground, we're going to push up on our yoke or stick or controller here. So instead of pulling down like that, I'm pulling up. So pushing forward on our device that keeps us in an inverted state so if i go into the aircraft here and to go back to normal flying we're just going to roll right out of it into normal flying so perfect nice easy turn here pretty hard turn actually so we're going to land now it was a fun episode fun to fly with a nice aerobatic plane so we just gotta land this plane now the airport is right there i'm gonna go into our cockpit view it is actually quite hard to see out of this airplane i just realized really fun plane though i love doing aerobatic maneuvers in this plane it's super fun i'm just having fun here I, i'm not even <laughs> i'm not even talking i'm just having fun all right so we're gonna land here we do not have flaps on the air this aircraft so we're gonna have to reduce our speed by just letting off the throttle here it is a small airport and we are going quite fast 
Um, we might have some difficulties here. We have, might have to request a go around. Alright, here we go. I think we should be okay. I'm gonna stall the aircraft. About pointing it up, it does kind of lower the airspeed quite a little bit. That is quite. This is quite a touchy aircraft here, so make sure we fly. Okay, well, I wouldn't say that was the smoothest landing, but it was okay. Definitely extremely bumpy. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Let me know which airplane you want me to fly next, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.